Hello everyone and welcome back to this next lecture. So this is where we had left off in the previous lecture where we had set up the three pins GPIO 12, GPIO 20 and GPIO 32 as GPIO pins and output pins. So they are now digital output pins and we had just set the three pins using the GPA set register so that we can drive all three of them high. This is just to get started. Now I'm going to bring the microcontroller into the video. And as you can see, this is the launch Excel kit, which is connected to the three LEDs. So I have connected using these jumper cables, GPIO 12, GPIO 32 and GPIO 20 to three resistors and in series with the resistors are three LEDs. So there is a red LED, a blue LED and a kind of white LED. So now the ground has been connected to this pin because this pin is the ground and this pin has been connected to the last column which is all connected together. So as you can see all the LEDs, the cathodes of the LEDs are all terminating at that ground bus. So we are now ready to power on our kit. So I'm going to go around and just connect it. So as usual, the the microcontroller, the launch XL F28069 has a startup code. So when you power it on, it starts working. This is something we've always seen and this is the regular working condition because they have a program which is loaded onto the boot ROM. So now let us compile our code again and download it onto the microcontroller. So we will do a clean and a build. And now let us go into the debug mode. So the code has now been downloaded and as you can see the red LED which was glowing before has stopped glowing. Right? So our code is now present on the microcontroller. So with this we can run the code using the usual method of resume or go to run and click resume whichever you prefer. And now you see all three LEDs connected to the three GPIO pins are glowing fairly brightly. All right? They are very fair, they are quite bright. So this shows that we have been managed, we have managed to drive the three GPIO pins high and those three, three GPIO pins are now making the three LEDs glow. So with this, I'm going to terminate this code and let us just for the sake of completeness also try out another combination and that is let us try to set another combination such as let us try to make our pin, let us try to make pin 20 low and only pins 12 and 32 high. So for this reason I am going to use GPS clear because clear is what is used to drive a pin low and I will leave the others to as G, GPA set to be equal to 1 which means I am driving GPIO 12 and GPIO 32 to be high and instead I am driving GPIO 20 to be low. So this would mean that we would expect the blue LED to stop glowing. So I am going to save this and compile it again. So with this let me bring the microcontroller back into the video and I will click on the debug. So this will again download the code onto the microcontroller and the code is downloaded. So I'm going to click on the resume button and as you can see this time the red LED and the white LED are glowing but the blue LED is not glowing and the reason for that is because GPIO 12 and 32 are high but GPIO 20 is low. And just for the sake of completeness, I can also try the reverse. So for example, I can set I can use clear on GPIO 12 and 32 which means I am driving these two pins low and instead I am going to set GPIO 20. So let me again compile the code. Whenever you make any changes to your C code, do a complete clean and build. So with this, let me bring the microcontroller back into the video 
and I will click on debug. So the code is downloaded onto the microcontroller and I will click the run button and now it's exactly the opposite. The white LED and the red LED are not glowing but the blue LED is glowing. Because only pin GPIO 20 is high, the other two pins are driven low. So this clearly shows that we have managed to set up our GPIO pins as general input output pins and moreover as output pins and we are also able to drive the pins high and low as required. All right. Now I am not trying to do a toggle because that usually requires a timer and that's something we will do in the next section. So I will terminate this code and with this I am going to end this lecture. If you have any doubts or something did not work or you got any other errors or you have any other questions, please do post in the Q&A forum and I will be happy to help you out. Otherwise I will see you in the next lecture. Thank you so much for listening and goodbye for now.